Hi guys, it's Lindsay, and today I'm going to be doing a realistic college makeup tutorial of what I am going to be putting on my face for like the next couple months probably because I just sort of get into a routine and then I stick to it and a lot of you guys have asked me what my makeup routine has been with my lash extensions because things just kind of change a little bit when you get lash extensions as well as answering all of your back to school related questions because I just asked for you guys to send me questions while I do my makeup for me to answer all about back to school things and I just got so many so I'm going to try and do my best at answering them. I do actually have an entire playlist dedicated to college advice so I will leave that in the description box but I haven't talked about it in a while so I figured that I would do both of those things at the same time and I hope that this is helpful for you guys. Also if you didn't know I am an incoming sophomore at Chapman University and I'm a graphic design major and I'm planning on minoring slash clustering in digital arts if you wanted to have an idea of what I am doing. How long does it take you to get ready for school including breakfast and packing things? Usually I will do like a full hour and 10 minutes ish to get ready because I like to have 10 minutes to lay in bed and then a full hour to get dressed eat, do my makeup, do my hair, my backpack on, and go. But that was when I lived on campus and I could walk like five minutes to school and now I have like a bit longer of a walk so I sort of have to adjust that now. But I usually give myself like about an hour I would say. How do you force yourself to get up in the morning? What's one thing you tell college freshmen you? How I force myself to get up in the morning to go to class? I always think that each of your classes is like worth a couple hundred dollars because I go to like a pretty expensive school. A lot of colleges are really expensive. You can do the math to figure out how much it would be per class that you have and that will really get you out of bed because it just you just think about that money going to waste and so that's what I think about when I want to miss class don't take 8 a.m.s please don't take 8 a.m.s that is like such a bad idea never do that back to doing my makeup for a minute so when it comes to foundation I pretty much use NARS sheer glow every day because I just really like how it's like a medium coverage I would say but it really stays on your face and I appreciate that because during school your days are just so long that like you want something that's gonna stay on your face face all day so I'm just gonna apply that but if I have a lot lighter of a schedule or like a shorter day I will use the milk makeup sunshine skin tint I really like this it's super lightweight and if you like lighter weight foundations you should definitely try it out I don't wear a ton of this but I feel like it just evens out the redness on my face and I just really I really like it never does me wrong <laughs> someone asked me how often do you cry because of school you know during finals week I'd say like multiple times a day do you like college or high school better love you endlessly that is super nice thank you honestly it's really hard Hard to compare the two because they're just such different experiences and there's definitely pros and cons from both. I really appreciate in college that you can take classes on things that you're good at and that you're interested in so I think I would vote for um, college. How do you get ready fast and also maintain a look? I don't know how to dress comfortable yet express my style. That is a really good question and I actually have a lookbook going up really soon right after my back to school haul. Both of those videos are going up. My number one tip would be invest in really good basics. I answered a question kind of recently when someone asked me how my brain works when I put together outfits and I talked about kind of like a food pyramid of clothes where you have like neutrals, black and white, basics, stripes, and then like pops of color. So I'll insert that question here because I think that kind of explains my personal thought process when it comes to it. it. Sounds a lot more complicated than it is. I promise it's easy, but that's just like how my brain works. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows and this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I like this because it lasts for a really long time and that's just kind of like my number one thing that I want when it comes to school makeup. Also if you go to school somewhere where there's kind of like a warmer climate, this will not move at all so I would highly recommend it. It honestly stays so well that I think I had some in my brows yesterday and it's still in there so that's like why mine look kind of filled in already. I've also been kind of letting my brows grow in a little bit if you can see that which I think makes getting ready faster because they can look messier and it looks like you just like did it on purpose it's fine. I'm also gonna put on some brow gel from Anastasia as well because this stuff is ridiculous it will not move ever and that's like what you want. <laughs> Someone asked me what is your favorite album to study to slash like write essays to. Personally I can't listen to music that has like a lot of words or like requires a lot of like active listening so I like to listen to playlists that are kind of a little more chill and just like a little more electronic. I have a playlist on Spotify titled chill and I listen to that like all of finals week so I would definitely recommend that. I know people have told me that they really liked it for that purpose so I'll link it below so you can check it out. What has been the most challenging part of college thus far? Probably just like maintaining balance 
balance slash like homeostasis in my life because I had to balance school, YouTube, a social life, and all of that at once is just a lot, especially if you're someone that already deals with like a lot of like stress and anxiety. So just all of that kind of at once is a lot to deal with. How to stop hating writing essays. I think it really helps to write an outline and then do your essay and like really get like as much research and like easy quotes as you can before you start writing because like I definitely feel you I'm not really great at writing essays nor have I ever really enjoyed it so I think it helps to like get yourself as prepared as possible so once you start writing it it's really easy to keep going because you just have a lot of information to go off of I don't know if that's good advice but that's what I do next I'm gonna put on some concealer this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer this is amazing because it is lightweight and just like super blendable and I think I've convinced like at least five people in my personal life to start wearing it because it's just like so great and I think everyone needs to try it. Depending what's up as far as like dark circles go, sometimes I'll apply a lot of this like I kind of did today or sometimes I will apply way less. Also if I'm in a hurry or just like having a really good skin day, sometimes I'll just apply concealer. I totally support doing that. Also don't forget to apply it right in here because I think that when I'm really really tired I tend to get more dark circles kind of like in this spot and if you don't cover it it'll make you look more tired even if you like completely covered your under eye circles. <laughs> how to cope, how to actually enjoy going to the pits of hell, you know. You know what, I feel you. College is really stressful and it's funny because I know a lot of people that are like stoked about life that school is starting and just like realistically, I'm not that excited. Like I'm so excited to see all of the people I know. I'm so excited to see all of my classmates and like live on campus or like close to campus again. Really everything about it except for all the stress and like insanity that school brings me. But I think acknowledging it and like being self-aware going into it that it will be a lot is a kind of smart thing to do if anything you're just kind of a little more self-aware than some other people we will make it through together I believe in us if you're running late what do you do to look the most presentable because this happens to me a lot and a lot is in all caps I think my senior year of high school I was late every single every single day like I'm not even exaggerating there if I'm running like the most late all I will do is put on concealer um, kind of fill in my brows put on some mascara, put on my glasses, and then just like literally run out the door. If it's an early class, no one's awake or cares what you look like anyway. Plus they're gonna see you looking great every other day of the week. So if you have one bad day, no one cares, okay? No one's gonna care but you. So feel free to like look like a hobo sometimes. Now I'm just gonna apply some mascara to my lower lashes only because of my lash extensions. And this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is my favorite mascara. I talk about it too much. You guys know it's great. If you don't know it's great or if you haven't heard me talk about it, go buy it. That's all I'm saying. Thank you to everyone who's sending me questions, by the way. It's kind of overwhelming. There's a lot of them. What pens and pencils do you use for notes? Hashtag stationary goals. So I love that you asked me that question and I actually do have some favorite pens. So I'm gonna try and find them so I can show you them and I will link them in the description box because I really enjoy nice pens writing with. I feel like it makes the whole studying and writing notes experience a lot more pleasant, especially if you're someone who likes handwriting or is a very just like tactile individual. Now I'm using the Tarte Tartlet palette and I'm using the color force of nature and I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. You can use like any warm brown you like or if you have a cooler complexion just go with like a more neutral brown but I like to do just like a nice warm shade all over the lid. Then I'm going to take this color bombshell which is this dark purple with a tiny angled brush and I'm just gonna apply that along the lashes just kind of like as eyeliner. All of freshman year I did wear eyeliner because I didn't have lash extensions and I've always been really self-conscious about my lashes. I just like always preferred to have eyeliner on but it takes so much time so I think that's why I've been really liking having lash extensions. And I'm just gonna focus that on the outer half. Then I'm gonna take the brush I was using before and kind of blend it out. And you can definitely build it up if you want it darker and you can like wing it out if you want. It's all up to you and up to how much time you have. <laughs> I seriously always have to put eye drops in because I have such bad allergies that my eyes are just like always watering. It's an issue. So that's really all I do for the eyes. It is so fast. Um, if I feel like it, I will highlight the brow bone. So I'll do that right now, just with the color Free Spirit. I feel like that tends to like kind of clean up the look and make it look a little more cohesive. But seriously, it is so easy. And with these lashes, it just like instantly looks like you put in a lot of effort when I put in as little effort as possible. I am gonna take a tiny little spoolie and brush my lashes out though because when they get kind of like overlapping, they can look really silly. Now to finish off the rest of my face, I'm just going to powder underneath my eyes and like my forehead places where I get shiny. 
and I'm using Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I don't love powdering my face, but if I have a really long day or if it's really hot outside, I will because otherwise I will get really oily, but I have dry skin, so I try and like hold on to whatever moisture is there. If I have time for it, I will put on some bronzer. This is Milk Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. It's my personal favorite, especially during the winter months of school because I just like tend to get really, really pale and then look like I'm dying, especially if I've stayed up really late. Gotta love that. Then again, if I have the time for it, I will put on some blush. This is MAC Warm Soul, and I love this blush. It is so, so pretty and peachy. It's just like such a staple for me. Gonna answer just a couple more questions before I finish this look. Someone asked how I organize my meals, and all of freshman year actually had a meal plan, so I would eat at the cafeteria. Um, most of the time, I had like a, what was it? It was like a five meal a week kind of thing, but I say most of the time kind of lightly because towards the end of it, I just really didn't like eating there. So I would eat out a decent amount at like local restaurants that I felt like eating as opposed to like the same meals every day because I also became vegetarian halfway through school. So the meals at the cafeteria tended to be kind of weak as far as like vegetarian options. I also ate a lot at Starbucks and the bagel place on campus because you have like points that you can use there so I would go there a lot. Now I live off campus in an apartment so I have to cook for myself slash like eat on campus or whatever so I don't really know yet as far as that but I, I'm assuming I'll just be doing a lot of grocery shopping. And then the very last question I'm gonna answer is how did you find your first year of graphic design? How did you keep up on the work? So I tried to keep most of the questions pretty general but here's just one about my major. I really really loved it. I I had a great time and I'm really like happy with my major. It was a little overwhelming at times, but I would say that was usually just when I would procrastinate. The first two years are mostly just studio art, so if you stay on top of it, it's not really that stressful or like not that overwhelming. So I would say as long as you don't start your projects super close to the deadlines, it won't be that bad. Honestly, highlighter just makes you feel like you have your life together when you see it like glinting in the mirror and you're just like, yep, I can keep going. Now for my lips, I would say more often than not, I just don't wear lipstick. But if I do, I will use the Benefit Benetint because it gives just like a tiny bit of color to your lips. Or I will use Urban Decay's Lip Pencil in Broken, which I actually really need to sharpen. Um, but I really like this color because it's very subtle. Then I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff will just kind of keep it on your face. So that is the completed makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, maybe I answered your question. Um, if you wanna be involved in any sort of Q&A next time, just follow me on Twitter. I also have Instagram and I love it. Hope you guys all have an amazing back to school season. I know it can be really stressful, but we will get through it together and I have a lot more back to school videos in the future. They're just a little bit late because I've been busy, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.